Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight in to the Bitcoin analysis. It's going to be a quick video because uh, not too much has happened here. Uh, we've had a continuational dump as you can see. We did not break our low, but we haven't actually made uh, a, a decent low anyway just yet. We are still below all major moving averages. We are fighting to try and get back up here after losing this uh, kind of uh, shorter time frame support. But uh, as of right now, Bitcoin looking pretty bad, pretty bad across the board right now in terms of uh, structure. We can see this, right? This structure is now officially broken. If we did finish yesterday above uh, 69, it would be a different story. But um, yeah, pretty much on the ropes at this point, looking a lot more bearish. Uh, but on the on-chain side of things, actually, uh, it's it's not looking too bad, right? We can see these moving averages, they are kind of heading together at this point. So if we do get a decent amount of hash rate over the weekend, then uh, we could get a cross next week, which would be fantastic. Uh, and that would initiate potentially a long signal, uh, which would be super bullish, right? But in terms of actual price action and in terms of... Uh, the structure generally, it's not looking great and it's looking a lot more likely that we do head down to the low 60s, uh, whether that's a, a one more time scenario or uh, it's a scenario where we do get uh, one of these kind of uh, <coughs> sideways slash bearish uh, sections of the summer uh, as we have seen previously, right? But it's not the end of the world just yet, okay? If we do want to come up here today, um, if we finish essentially above, I would say, this trend line anywhere, right? So as of right now, it's 68.8. Uh, I would like to see this above 69.6. If we close today above 69.6, although unlikely, uh, but if we do, it's uh, it's definitely indicative of a trapping scenario. Uh, and yes, I think we get super bullish after that point. Again, looking to target that trade from roughly around 72 thousand dollars all the way up to about 80 uh, and yeah that's to our middle linear regressional growth line that kind of uh, kind of goes around with bitcoin's history as you can see we oscillate around this pretty nicely right but when we get above it and it looks good um then yeah we can we can see some pretty ridiculous parabolic exponential price movement action <laughs> towards the sky here so that's what we're really looking for here uh, and uh, yeah if that isn't the case and I think it's slightly less likely here I think we probably do visit these lows uh, 62.5 again that's where open interest will reset so uh, yeah if we can get down there uh, and it's it's like a, a wicking scenario where we get down here we liquidate everyone uh, and then everyone gets bearish then we can pump next week, right? And if we pump next week, what we really need to do is reclaim this trend line. If we don't, then it's probably going to be a bit more of a, a, a broader sideways range before initiating a new exponential curve, right? Uh, so that's really what we're looking for right now. If we can find that, it's going to be good. Uh, if not, then uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. And obviously, guys, where, where, what's the level in which this bull run ends? For me, it's around 54K. If we lose 54K, it's very bad. We'll be below this bull market barrier, uh, which is the, the kind of... Uh the hope for the bull market, right? If we if we stay above this, great. Sometimes we test it, and this is kind of what we're looking for now, right? Uh, just one of these tests. We are still bullish. There is still a supply crunch. Exchanges are expected to run out of Bitcoin by the end of the year, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, and we can see that uh, in the previous run, the 20... Uh, 2017 run we can see that we did violate this bull market barrier along the way quite a few times all right so it's not the end of the world that we're down here but uh, what i will say is uh caution in the wind all of that good stuff and just be careful uh, because a lot of things are happening across the world right now that can crash pretty much any market including bitcoin and crypto so uh, just bear that in mind when you are trading uh, but as of right now let's talk about the trades that i'm looking for so over the weekend what i'm looking for right now it's going to be a bit tricky here over the weekend but what i will say is um if we do end up in the low 60s today with it being friday then what we're going to be looking for is a nice big volatile range after whatever move happens if it is today downwards right uh, and then what we're going to be doing is obviously trading that in the, in a grid bot fashion so layering orders over the weekend and hopefully it's a big enough range where we make money uh, and the other side to this is obviously the volume weighted atr bands now i'm going to bring up the the uh, four hour for this one here and we're just going to get oh is that the right one get rid of that get rid of that beautiful stuff yeah so if this loads if this is going to load then uh, what we're going to be doing is uh looking for the potential edge here again we've got this four hour volume weighted atr band super important this is usually the area in which we find bottoms 
throughout this run anyway in terms of pullbacks. So what I am going to say with this thing is if we do get down to about 63.3, and again, open interest resets at 62.5, right? So uh, we could actually lose this volume weighted ATR ban, but you guys know the edge. I talk about this a lot on the channel. The edge here is when we reclaim it, that's when we can get ridiculous pumps. Uh, so if it is the scenario where we do get a crash today and then uh, it is going to be a quick recovery Monday kind of thing, then uh, yeah, we will be looking for that long upwards. Uh, but <clears throat> if it's going to be a scenario where uh, we do just kind of trickle down here today and not really have any aggressive moves right uh, in either direction, then I would expect a range to form over the weekend based on whatever low we make and the most recent high. So uh, that's pretty much the plan right now in terms of that. And again, guys, uh, we do have a similar scenario here with the uh, the 60 minute and the 15 minute volume weighted ATR bands, as you guys know, right? Exactly the same plan if we lose them, right? Basically just wait till we reclaim them and then we're good. We've got that confirmed low, we'll be above them, right? And then we just look for a trade all the way back to the price action channel. That's the plan here. That's what we're doing. Uh, and if you don't know what the price action channel is, guys, it is from the WAD machine. If you don't have the WAD machine, it's absolutely fine. You could basically say roughly around the 55 EMA on the four hour and the 21 EMA as well. This is roughly kind of that distance. So if you wanted to target that after reclaiming the volume weighted ATR bands, that is, uh, that's pretty much the plan there in terms of a potential bit of profit we can make over the weekend. As you can see, two or three percent there uh, would be fantastic. Uh, as long as we keep the same distance on the way down here, right? Uh, so that is pretty much going to be it for this video. I don't really have too much else to talk about here. And you can could, you could see yesterday's video, uh, th pretty much a similar plan, right? Uh, we are just looking for that uh, that range to form. But um, if, if it doesn't form and, and it bangs it up, then uh, great. We'll look for that long, uh, that long on the long side, uh, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, 72k and up that would be fantastic as of right now everyone be cautious out there don't rush into positions this is not the the beginner market kind of thing right if you're a beginner uh, trader then uh, this is not the market for you right now uh, you just want to wait wait for that bullishness to resume or wait for a major move that's like 10% plus and then trade it afterwards if you're trying to catch a move here you will likely get wrecked particularly if you lose uh, use high leverage so uh, that's going to be it from me um, thank you very much for watching the video like it leave me a comment let me know which altcoins you want to see and let me know where you think bitcoin is going i will see you very very soon peace out and goodbye